Here we are, Outback Queensland, on our way up to Cape York from sunny Melbourne, Victoria. So we took off on the 1st of July, had a bit of a two week road trip uh, through Griffith, Cobar, across to Longreach, uh, Winton, and then up to uh, Noosa, which we spent a couple of days uh, to enjoy the sunshine before we hit this lovely red dirt. Now we're spending two and a half weeks up in the Cape, going all the way to the top, and then heading back through Weeper, and then heading back to Melbourne. Total of about a seven to eight week trip, which hopefully should be long enough and we should see everything. Pretty happy with the, uh, with the 300. Um, been wrapped, uh, GVM upgrade, three inches of lift, uh, with the um, airbag man um, bags in the back just to help out with the uh, caravan, which is a little heavy on the ball. It's running about 310 kilo on the ball, so it just flattens it out a bit. So running the method wheel and a Razor tire 33. We're running the off-road animal bar with carbon winch. Uh, it's all been color coded. Running the new Nava nine inch uh, spotlights on the front of it with a small little light bar in there just to help with a bit of light at night. We're running the GME UHF. As everyone knows, the 300 is mostly, mostly aluminium. So the bonnets on these really wobble around, especially in the sunlight. So we've gone with a matte finish, which you probably can't see after being in the red dirt. Um, we've got the Safari snorkel, just put a uni filter on there just to help out with some of the dust. Seems to be working on day one. So on the roof, I'm not running any kind of uh, platform. Uh, I didn't really want to do that. So we're running it's the Rhino rack just to support the uh, Max tracks, which have to be color coded. In the rear end, uh, we've built a custom setup here. Sliding storage with tables. Cooktop and all the cutlery are over there running a six to litre fridge. Uh, it's only really for doing small weekenders because we've obviously got the hybrid caravan behind it, which brings us on to the stone stomper, which has been a lifesaver so far. We haven't broken any back windows, which is a common issue with a car towing a caravan and any 200 or 300 or wagon in general. 12 volt systems, 130 amp hour lithium battery, a rock light underneath here for some lighting at night. Running a built-in pump. A couple of extra AC points there. Nothing over the top. Pretty basic, but it does the job. The Jupiter van has been running pretty well this uh, trip. Uh, had no dust in it, unlike our first trip that we had down at Unidata. Comes with everything. Comes with 270 lithium, um, solar, um, hot and cold water, um, outdoor cooking, as you can see outside, which is probably the main reason why I chose this um, Stola van, um, being outside, and that's what you want to do when you're out here in uh, the great outdoors of Australia.